Today I'm going to show you how to subscribe to the podcast for Seattle Neighborhood Crier. And on we're, going to, we're on the Seattle Neighborhood Crier page. On your left is the is the episodes. On your right is the subscribe to the show. And here's the link. So you'll want to copy that link. The podcast client I'm going to recommend which is open source and available for your desktop or Mac, Windows, and Linux is gpotter, and its website is gpotter.org. And they do have a couple distributions for mobile platforms, such as Android and BlackBerry. And there is an iPhone app that you can use that's similar. So you'll have to research that out. So you'll want to download that. And then once you download it and open it, you'll get this Welcome to GPotter. You can cancel it out or add podcasts by entering your URL. But I'm just going to cancel that out, so I'll show you. Because that's not going to show up every time. Let's just do it right from the beginning. So from the... From the Seattle Neighborhood Crier website, you'll want to copy the link, your link, and then go to the G Potter and subs subscriptions, add podcasts via URL. And you can paste it in there, add, and then it's checking. And you can download these now or later. If you right click on your mouse, you can download, delete. So if we download episode five, it doesn't take too long. And on the right side bottom, you can Limit downloads to one or two. I have fast internet, so I usually put it at two. And I go back to podcast. You can discover new podcast by clicking that. It will give you a whole list of different podcasts that you might be interested in. What's nice about GPotter is, is that you can back up your podcast that you're, you're subscribed to. So if you go to preferences, gpotter.net. So I'll take you to that website. You'll want to register and log in. And this keeps track of your podcast. It's, it's, it's an easy backup to do. You don't have to remember to back up. Do it this way. So we're going to go back to the program. I'm going to put this on pause for a second. Okay, right now I'm going to put in my username and password. So I'm going to put it on pause and do that. Okay, okay, I just uh, did my G Potter. Oh, audio player, you could choose. I use VLC. Video player, the method, update intervals. This goes out and checks to see if there's any updates to any podcast that I subscribe to. And there's some extension or plugins. All right, I logged in to gpotter.net with my password, and I went to subscriptions. Then on the bottom, I said download OPML, and I'm saving it. And I'm going to go back to gpotter and import. 
that list. And there it is. And I'm going to select all. These are all the podcasts I'm subscribed to. It's going to go through and give me all my podcast. All right, so they loaded all that. I'm going to select none right now and close that. So that was going to download it. I'm not going to download right now. Um, and there's Seattle Neighborhood Crier. If you double click that, the show notes show up. If I double click that, if I right click on the mouse, I can play it. And listen to it. Say it's new, that means it's highlighted if it's not new. And this icon to the left shows that there is a, it's been downloaded. So then I check for new episodes. And we'll go through all of them and see if there's any new episodes. 27 podcasts I listen to. I can mark them all as old. So everything, but I, I still can download it if I want to uh, listen to it. Once you download it, once you have them in your G Potter, the podcast you want to listen to, You can, the, the extra is sync to device. And if you have a iPad or an MP3, iPod or an MP3 player, you can download these episodes directly into there. So you go into preferences, uh, device, and then set this up. You'd have to, I don't have anything plugged in right now, but you'd show where the, where to mount, mount it at. Or you can right click and say send to, and then tell it where to send that file to. And that's how I, I send mine into my MP3 player. So when I'm, when I'm out walking, I can listen to my podcast. That's it.